Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to discuss the idea of Taylor Rule. What does it mean by Taylor Rule? It is something that is very important as far as macroeconomics is concerned. Let's see what it is. Taylor Rule would involve a rule based policy. Also, it refers to a rule which is used by the central banks of every economy in order to determine the right level of interest rate. We know that when it comes to monetary policy objectives, monetary policy always try to regulate the interest rate. But how can it go for interest rate regulation? What would be the particular limit? What would be the ceiling would be there? The minimum uh, rate would be there. But how a central bank would fix the interest rate? And it is for this in order to fix a particular level of interest rate that a person has come with a rule that is something that we uh, that we call as the Taylor rule. A person called Taylor came forward with a rule. So it is actually a rule which is used by all the central banks in order to determine their interest rate for the economy and this would be something that would be based on the prevailing economic scenario. It will try to see whether the economy is having a recession or inflation. So it will try to understand what would be the prevailing rate of price in the economy. What would be the general price level in the economy. It will try to see this and also it will take into consideration several other economic conditions. Whether there is any emergency situation, whether there is any uh, urgent need for spending for example like what we could have in the case of COVID pandemic. During the times of COVID pandemic it was inevitable for both the central bank as well as the uh, central government to pump money to the economy. So that was a kind of exceptional case. But otherwise what the central bank would do is that it will be just analyzing the economic scenario by looking at the general price level. It will see what would be the what is the prevailing general price level. And based on this general price level it would be adjusting the interest rate. And this is what the Taylor rule is something that deals with. So as I told you earlier this is being proposed by a person and his name is John Taylor and he is an American economist and he proposed this rule as a tool in order to conduct the rule based monetary policy. So it Taylor told that okay it's always better for an economy the central bank of an economy to follow a rule based monetary policy rather than going for a discretion based monetary policy. It is always better to go for a rule based monetary policy and that is what this person um, John Taylor told and this is again what we can call as Taylor rule. Now, he says that or the Taylor's rule or we call as Taylor rule, it, uh, it often proposes a solution whenever you have a problem of discretion involved in framing the monetary policy. Why? Because whenever uh, you go for discretion, whenever a central bank goes for its discretion, it would get influenced by political 
populism or the role of politics would be there there would be certain pressures certain uh, kind of compulsion experienced by the central bank of an economy from the side of politics and for the very same reason there are very high chances for the central bank to stick on to what is being told by the political parties it is not due to their wish but it is happening as a result of compulsion or pressure or it's a kind of force that is happening some kind of pestering forces would be uh, acting upon the central bank of the country which would be making these central banks to go for monetary policies and here even though we say that uh, it is a kind of discretionary monetary policy it is not as per the discretion of the central bank that the central bank would be actually working here it would be the discretion of the political parties that would be happening here so this will create many problems problems in the economy and we need to deal with such a problems and that is why taylor is saying that in order to avoid the discretion based monetary policy it's always better to have a rule based monetary policy so the taylor rule provides a kind of formula that would be helping the central bank to determine how much it should target when it comes to interest rate we could see that whenever there is inflation in the economy usually the central bank would be increasing the interest rate and whenever there is recession in the economy the central bank would be reducing the interest rate this is how it happens but there is a question how much during the times of inflation the interest rate would be increased but by how much during the times of recession the interest rate would be reduced but by how much so this all should depend upon the health of the economy health of the economy as i told you in normal situation it can just look at the general price level that will give an that will act as an indicator that will give an indication but in certain other situations some abnormal uh, emergency kind of situation like what we could have in the case of covid pandemic the central bank should take into consideration other factors as well so as to fix a particular interest rate that is what Taylor is also saying. So, in short, Taylor says that rather than going for a discretion-based monetary policy, it's always better to go by a rule-based monetary policy. Whenever it goes for a rule, it's always better to make some adjustment in the rule, or uh, make some adjustment in the uh, amount by which it has to make changes in the. Uh, policy uh, with respect to interest rate changes by looking at the general price level and certain other factors so that's all about taylor's rule i hope you could understand i request you to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos also i request you to be a part of learn economia by clicking on to the link given in the description box you can also join our free telegram community also you can download the learn economy app for both of these i'll be providing the link in the description box so you can join both of these from there itself that's it thank you for watching